Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Travis Dykes. Let me just say, if you've ever wondered how to travel with your bass on a plane, in a car, in a tour bus, or even if you don't know what kind of bass case to choose because there's so many different types, well, this video is for you. We're gonna be hitting all of the aspects of traveling with the bass. So, without further ado, let's jump into the lesson. So first things first, what are the best type of bass cases to travel with? Well, first you have gig bags. These are pretty much the ones that you get when you first get a bass that's, you know, they kind of protect it from scratches, but it's not very protective when it comes to impact. So this is a great one for traveling in your car or if you're gonna have it with you in your hand or if you're just trying to get it from point A to point B with not any other things with it. Now a soft shell is a little bit more protective. It has a little bit of a, a, a soft shell around it. I mean, it's in the name, but it's it's got this soft shell that kind of protects it more from like dents and dings and different things like that. Soft cases, you can take it, probably put it with some other things. If you're stacking a couple of guitars together or anything like that, you can probably use it in that sense. But yeah, they're, they're just a little bit thicker than just a normal gig bag. Now hard shell cases, are ones that literally exactly in the name they have a hard shell around them like so they're hard hard shells are really they're, they're good for protecting you know from like dents and things and a lot of stuff but depending on what brand you get it can it can vary on the quality of it i've had hard shells that have broken before when they were impact and, and it protected for that moment but then the case is toast like it's <laughs> you can't use it anymore hard shells are cool but you have to get a good quality hard shell case so you can use it in different scenarios the one issue i have with hard shell cases because sometimes they're in a a square and so it doesn't make it easy if you have a kind of a smaller trunk or smaller back seat because it could take up more room than it needs to they also have these types of base cases that are kind of like a medium to hard shell case i would say it's kind of like a little soft but it's not, it's very protective and it's also not a hard shell. So you can, if you squeeze it in just a little like centimeter, you can if you want to. And this is the type of base case that I use, which is the Mono M80 base case. Now the last case I want to talk about is the flight case. I mean, it's literally in the name. This case is best for flying. And the reason why it is, you call it a flight case is because you can check it in uh, at check baggage. That's the reason why uh, people spend the money for it. Now, with these type of cases, I wouldn't suggest you do gigs with these, like on a, driving a car or in a you know van, because of how much space they take up. So the first method of travel we're gonna be talking about today is if we're in a car or if we're in a van. The type of case will be best for this would be a gig bag or a soft shell case. Reason being because you're only taking it from point A to point B, which would be, you know, going from here to a gig and then immediately getting out, taking your bass with you. It's not being stacked on top of a bunch of equipment and different things like that. Now, my rule of thumb is if you're traveling in a van or you have a lot of people putting their instruments in one vehicle at once, always make sure your bass or your instrument goes on top because the pressure of anything else puts this tension down on the neck and can cause it to bow or even break depending on how heavy it is. So my next rule of thumb is to never leave your bass in the car overnight. You know, when it comes to the weather, it's, it's one thing, you know, if it's too hot, it can, if you have a, a, a neck that's not bolted on or like a bolt on neck, it could possibly melt the glue and cause it to separate, kind of like an acoustic guitar. But if it's a bolt on neck, you know, it may be okay, in this, but it's just not good putting your bass through all those different types of environments. If it's really cold or if it's really hot, you wanna just make sure you always take it in with you. And also another thing is you don't wanna leave something that's really expensive or really precious to you in the car overnight where somebody could possibly break into your car and steal it or something. You always wanna make sure you have it with you. So now let's talk about tour buses and trailers. If you're traveling with a group of people, nine times out of 10, you're probably gonna either have a trailer or some kind of bay like in a tour bus where you're gonna be stowing all your instruments and things like that. Just going back to the rule of thumb with you know traveling in cars, you always wanna make sure it's on the top. But a lot of times when it comes to being in a trailer, you're going to have to stack it you know, either face up and it's gonna be a lot of road cases. 
with it. And so a hard shell to a medium shell case would do that really well. Another case that's really good for this is the flight case. Flight cases are made to be moved around. They're made to like, you know, if they get dropped or you know if they go against something it's not going to hurt your base or even touch your base a lot of times when you're traveling with the group and you have you know other aspects like sound lighting and all this kind of stuff you have other equipment heavier equipment than what you have and so you want to make sure that your base is protected in all aspects so when you're traveling you always want to make sure your essentials are close to you and when i say essentials i'm talking about wallet keys phone and base. So just here in the past couple of months, I acquired a new wallet that has really, really changed my life and I'm so excited to tell you guys about it. It's called the Exter Parliament Wallet, okay? This is a really thin and, you know, cool type wallet. You can put your cash here, you know, you can put your cards here and, and also you have this little button that just pushes out all your cards, which makes it easier. Now the reason I went with this wallet is really cool because you actually can track your wallet via this thing they have called a tracker card. And what this is, is a way that you can track your wallet if you say you lost it and you were like, oh my gosh, where'd I lose it? There's an app here on your cell phone that you can use to track where it's at. You're probably thinking like, okay, why don't I just get an AirTag? An AirTag does the same thing. The thing is I tried putting AirTags in this wallet or any type of small wallet and it's just so bulky, it stretches out the leather and it doesn't, it's not actually really good. So what's so cool about this is different than an AirTag is that if I double click this button, it tells me where my phone is. which is really dope. So if you always want to make sure you know where your essentials are, make sure you go check out Extra Smart Wallet where you can find these tracker cards and also these really dope wallets. So now for the question that everybody's been asking, how do I fly with the base and what's the best practice with flying with the base? So the type of case I would suggest for flying is a medium to hard shell case. You usually can take your base and put it in an overhead on whatever airline that you're traveling with. But sometimes those overheads get filled up if you have a very full flight and you didn't you know, plan to get like pri priority boarding or anything like that if you're not A-list or you don't have any kind of boarding, early boarding group. If you're like the last boarding group, I would just go ahead and get ready for a gate check because nine times out of 10, they're literally jam packed and full, filled up. So that's the reason why I say medium hard shell cases are very, very important is because you never know when that's gonna happen. It's happened to me because really the plane wasn't big enough because I was flying to a small city or a small town and the plane didn't have hardly any overhead space to even fit normal sized luggage. And a lot of times, especially with like certain airlines, they have uh, little stewardess closets that they can fit it in if they have space or if it's, you know, big enough for it, they'll throw it in there. I've had that happen on many Delta Airlines flights. Just know that not every airline or every flight or plane is gonna have the same amount of overhead space. My favorite airlines is probably gonna be Southwest and Delta, just because of their accessibility and consistency with overhead space. And just to reiterate on this last point, do not check it, gate check it, or anything if it's in a gig bag. And the reason why is because it's not protecting anything. Uh, it, the only way I would even suggest you taking something in a gig bag on a plane is if you know for a fact that you're gonna have overhead space. But even then, the base doesn't actually take up the entire overhead. So sometimes if somebody has a bag, they may shove it in there. That's the reason why having a hard shell or medium shell case is going to be very, very vital. And lastly, with flying, sometimes if the flight is not, you know, overbooked or booked up and they have a lot of extra seats, they will allow you to put your instrument at the seat next to you. So it's a little bit easier to uh, just keep up with it in that scenario. Traveling with your base and keeping your base safe is so essential when playing and traveling, being a musician. It doesn't matter if you're going to lessons, it doesn't matter if you're touring with an artist or just playing at church. I'm telling you, making sure your base is safe is not only gonna cause you to have less stress when it comes to playing, but also it's gonna give you 
more comfort when it comes to getting from location to location. I wanna give a huge thanks to Exter for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in that wallet or tracker card that I mentioned, feel free to check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you're notified when the newest videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time.